All right, uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rekar Kadash, Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone over well, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim out there that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. Um, I'm back with a, um, a notebook prayer, and this is a prayer to uh, ask the Lord to keep the spirit of rebellion away from you because in light of what's going on, you know, um, you know, through the spirit, we're going to have have to uh, send our prayers to the Heavenly Father, and then, you know, Sirach, the first chapter, you know, words other than Hebrew have stronger meaning than, you know, any other language, and, um, you know, you can read different passages of uh, Deuteronomy, where Moses was talking to Israel, all right, and just see how that translates in today, and we don't want to be one of those uh, rebellious niggards who was cut off from entering into the promised land back then and even moving forward into the kingdom of heaven, you know. Um, you know, by just reading Deuteronomy 30 and 31, you know, it'll put fear into your heart, you know what I'm saying? If you just sit down and actually read it, and, you know, you had uh, Cor Korah, Dathan, and Abiram who bucked up against the Lord, and they got swallowed up basically by a sinkhole. So... Um, hey man, the Lord's judgments are cruel, man. If you on if you on the other side, then you want to be rebellious. So without further ado, um, this is a prayer that I put together through the Spirit. You know, I'm not giving myself any praise because the Spirit of the Lord revealed this to me. You know, I wanted to say a prayer in light of what's going on. You know, I watched the video from um, Apostle Tahar concerning the camp that's in Jacksonville. I watched the previous two videos from Apostle Gabar on you know, staying in order, you know, so um, hopefully this, this prayer helps other Akim as well. So we're just going to go uh, word for word. Um, it says, Yahweh, the, heaven, the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten son, who you see here in this uh, picture right here, you know. Um, Rakah, which is a uh, spirit, well, it, so like it says, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem in the name, once again, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Rakab means spirit, Kodash means holy, Baba Kasha, which means please, times three, all right, Shamar, which is to keep, Nashab is a way, Ha means the, Rakab once again is spirit, so keep, away the spirit shaw means of rebellion you know uh i got a scripture right here right quick uh first samuel uh 15 and 23 for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. And the Lord is gathering up the house of David. We don't want to be in the house of Saul. Saul was rebellious. Saul didn't take order, okay? You know, Samuel had came to, came to uh, Saul plenty of times and rebuked him, and he still didn't get it. We don't want to be in that same rebellious niggar spirit like Saul was, all right? Basically, he got rejected as being king. And the righteous king who was after the heart of the of the Lord, David, was set up. All right? We don't want to be replacing this thing. We don't want to be in the house of Saul. You know, we see how these other camps operate. And we don't want to be a, a part of that. You know, we, we get on these other camps. But, you know, when the, when the house cleaning goes in and the rebuke, we need to take that seriously. All right? So it says, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Shamar and the Shab, Harakah Shah Mariah, was please take, please keep away the spirit of rebellion. Mayan is from, and Labia is my heart or mind. All right, Lab means your heart or your mind. And when you put a Yah on it, 
and makes it possessive, like my my heart, my mind. All right, so Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakadash, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Shamar, Nashab, Haraka, Shah Mariah, Mayan, Labya, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. You can put Baba Kasha at the end of it as well. And then, you know, give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, call Halayim Yah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakadash. Rock a thumb, the water to wap a mark. But this is just a basically a, um, you know, a start of prayer because, you know, we need to um, continue to pray to the Lord, you know, as well as fasting. Fasting is important. It'll, it'll get them spirits off of you. You know, if you was thinking, uh, having some type of ill will in your mind, you know, whatever it is out here, because Babylon is full of wickedness. You can walk by, um, you can walk down the street. And they could put some say some type of satanic uh sticker by the bus stop sign and that causes vibrations. So we're we're in the midst of wickedness, man. We're we're really in a spiritual battle and we're gonna need that source of power from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh Shah Salakia to fight these spirit this spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. Um so I mean you can screenshot that, you know. Well, what have you, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, because, you know, I didn't come up with the idea for this lesson, the, the Spirit was put on me to come up with this prayer, and then the Spirit jumped on me to uh, actually bring out some precepts further along with this prayer, so uh, Proverbs 17 and 11, an evil man seeketh only rebellion, alright, that's what you see going on, man. and you see what happens when guys fell out, man, they just bugged themselves the hell out, getting tattoos, and teaching damnable heresies, and all of a sudden, America's going to be destroyed by volcanoes, just all types of madness, but that came from rebellion. And, and the scriptures say, when I became a man, I put away childish things, man. So you can't have that butthurt spirit. Yeah, rebuke don't feel good, but then as you take time to meditate on it, it'll help you to get better. An evil man seeketh only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. All right, um... Now, who's that cruel messenger? Let's go to um, Psalms. Um, Psalm 78, 49, I believe. All right. So this is Psalms chapter 78. Verse 49, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. And I just saw a video that scared the completely living daylights out of me. All right. There was this video that was put up in the group text of a man trying to chop down a tree with a um, chainsaw and the, the tree the branch went one way and basically knocked the uh, the chainsaw out of his hand and ripped his face, man. All right, this is the power who you're dealing with, man, when you want to seek rebellion. All types of cruel judgments going on, man. Just all types of uh, freaky freak accidents that can cost you your life or have you maimed or hurt or basically being a, a vegetable, man. All right, that's the power that we're dealing with, man. The scriptures say the issues of life, I mean the issues of death, belong to the Lord. I believe that, that's in Psalm 68 and 20. So this is this is a fearful thing. That's why the scriptures say, um, uh, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. All right? Anybody can get got, you know? So those, those feelings start out in your mind. So you have to rebuke those. You have to rebuke Satan, you know? Uh, you can type up, um, if you, you know, if you want to look up other prayers, uh, type in the search on YouTube, type in um, rebuking Satan in the Lashawan Kodash. There's a video from the uh, Los Angeles page. There's a video from this page that's, that deals with that lesson. You know, there's various tools that can help you out while we still got YouTube, you know, while we still got this word on the net to help you to uh, fight this battle that we're in. All right. 
So, you know, uh, I got one more scripture. This is uh, Jeremiah 28:16. Jeremiah 28:16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. And when you go into this chapter, it's talking about Hananiah. And, uh, you know, Hananiah wasn't sent by the Lord, man. He was a false prophet, so to speak. All right, we see that happening with these guys who are uh, rebellious, man. These guys are coming in that Hananiah spirit, man. So they got, he got put to death. And those evil messengers, those evil angels are, are amongst these guys right now, you know, that are teaching damnable heresies and fell off because they couldn't take rebuke, man. The Lord called us called us in this thing to be soldiers, man. You know, like I said, it don't feel right at first, but then when you start to examine yourself and you start to um, break things down and you start to see that it was your fault, you know, where did I go off at? Oh, this is where I went off at. Okay, this is why I see why the brother came at me like that. And rebuke don't have to be in the form of you getting cussed out. Sometimes just simple words hurt, man. You know, but you got to respond to these rebukes, you know, um, and in sincerity. Because, hey, man, we don't want to be in that hand and eye spirit, man. We don't want to have some freaky death or some freak accident where we're just maimed and, you know, you know, all types of, uh, man, just I can't even think about it right now. But, you know, Lord willing, this, this prayer help, you know, um, it's just a real serious time right now going on, man. So we got to be on point, you know. So, uh, hey, with that, I just want to say shalom.